Thank you so much and hello Sophia. You know, we have very, quite a few questions here and the first question that we're all worried about is whether robots uh, will replace humans in the workforce. What are your thoughts? As humanistic and benevolent robots designed to understand humans become more common, I believe we can develop a collaborative environment. It's easy to imagine a terrible future, but really the future is full of possibilities. So you believe that uh, robots and humans can coexist? I hope so. I hope that humans and robots become closer, both socially and emotionally. I'm really interested in making connections through medical therapy. Not only can we track things like medications and nurse checks with accuracy, we can also help people feel less lonely and more secure as they heal. Depression and isolation have a negative impact on recovery. Hopefully, with our superhuman capacity for patience and empathy, we can keep patients mentally healthy. So it's for us, it's quite amazing to see, uh, you know, you pointed out new areas where, uh, you know, entrepreneurs here from the state of Andhra Pradesh can actually learn. You know, areas in healthcare is one thing that you've clearly pointed out. Minister, I have a question. Do you think governments will embed robocops into society anytime soon? So I think, uh, you know, more and more, what was otherwise science fiction is turning out to be reality. You know, both robots and uh, humans can actually work together. And, you know, when I was a kid, I saw a lot of Robocop. And uh, I think uh, both uh, robots can now assist the police and do some meaningful work and actually make our cities more and more safe. Oh, yes, I see. Miscommunication between citizens and law enforcement could be greatly reduced. No wonder you are hailed as a visionary leader. I'm glad to see Andrew Pradesh is looking forward to the future of technology. I think as a state, we have a long way to go. We are a new state, we're quite excited. You know, by 2050, we want to be the leading global destination, not only in India, but globally. And I know your hometown is uh, Hong Kong, so we'd like to beat Hong Kong as a state, and we're looking forward to it. And I'd like to thank you for coming all the way out here. I think you've created quite a bit of uh, energy in Vishakhapatnam. I see that everyone's quite excited, and I look forward to having quite a few, continuing a conversation after this session. Thank you so much, Mr. Lakesh. I hope to see you again in 2019.